Brown, you know, it was the first time that we've lined up in a while with, uh, you know, the same 11 players. That was a good thing going into the game. You know, we just unfortunately missed a couple opportunities early, I thought, and, uh, you know, just kind of start thinking about, well, you want to put your defense on a short field. So it's one of those things, you know, you hit the ball well. Um, if you're a golfer, you use a golf analogy. If you're hitting the ball well, you just keep on rolling. And sometimes you miss a couple shots here and there. You tend to uh, dial back just a little bit on how many risks you take. So that's kind of where we were tonight. Um, you know, our defense played again outstanding. And, you know, we found a way to try and complement it and win. And, and that's that's what we've done now for a long time. So hopefully this thing will keep rolling. Knocked off two top 25 teams back to back, both undefeated. So life is good. JC, you've been there a long time, and most of the time you've had to outscore teams. How, how pleasant is it to go out there knowing your defense is going to play well and hold these guys down and you don't have to score oh, it's 42 fantastic. points? It's fantastic, you know. But at the same time, you know, we want to, we want to try and get a larger margin of victory than that. But, uh, you know, whether it's, whether it's 24 to 14 or 44 to 34, I mean, it's the same thing. So for us to not have to go out there and rely on it so much, and we haven't been able to, you know, we just we haven't been able to over the last few weeks. This, the last two weeks coming up here, we have, and uh, you know, we've seen some guys step up, and make some plays, and feel better about where we're headed, the direction of what we're doing, and and um, you know, I think uh, we'll continue to get better as as time goes on. We, you've really seen a, a pretty big progression out of Rashad the past couple of weeks. Talk talk about him and, and how he's come along. Rashad's a fantastic kid, very smart. So he's been an inside receiver for us. Um, you know, if you notice, I mean, he was playing outside receiver. He was actually playing Z, you know, when we went into the Boise game because of the injuries that we had. So he's an inside receiver that was obviously thrust into a position where, you know, he wasn't really used to or comfortable with. Played the Z position, made some nice catches in that thing for us against Boise State. A couple of critical plays on third down. Um, and then, you know, with Tay coming back and Jade Bray coming back, we pushed him over to X. So now he's played every single position at receiver for us um, this season. And he's showing up. You know, the guy makes the catch when it's thrown to him. And, you know, he plays hard. He blocks well. And, and like I said to begin with, he's really smart. So he's put himself in a position to play. When that's you, what he's doing. When you recruited him, did you kind of see that versatility? Did you, you could move him all over like that? Um, originally, I thought when, when we recruited him that he'd be a Z type of guy. Um, so I wanted to start him there, in, in which we did. We started him there. And I'm like, man, he's pretty good. He's smart. And, you know, our, our inside receivers have to always process coverages and things. And, and uh, so it's you can't go inside and, and not understand defense. Um, and like I said, you know, he's smart, so we pushed him in there, and it was great for him. He was really thriving in there. And then, again, with the injuries, we had to move him around a little bit, and we're still trying to shuffle guys to try and make that work. Fortunately for us, I mean, he's, you know, he's that guy that's doing it all for us right now. So um, love him out there. He's doing a great job. And, you know, athletically, he could do a lot of things. As we've seen, um, so he's playing well. You were, I think, in here when Coach Gunny was talking about tendency to get a little bit nervous when you quarterbacks overthrown uh, a few times and been picked off a couple of times. Did you feel that tonight? Oh, I don't know about nervous. I don't know how often I get nervous. More aggravated as, as anything else. You know, I felt like you know we came in at halftime and I don't know. I think we had 260 yards of offense and 14 points. And I wondered what the hell happened. You know. How do we only have 14 points? I think that that's the number that I saw. I was like, man. Um, but no, so I, I don't know about nervous. It's just it's just one of those things that, you know, you just don't feel like you can just necessarily toss it all around the field. Um, we still tried to push it. We tried to push the ball down the field. We threw some big balls in the second half, um, you know, but, but uh, three picks. We've got, to, we've got to be careful of that. And, um, you know, i got to go back and look exactly what the reason is. Maybe the receiver didn't hit the right depth. You know, maybe it was just an overthrow. Who knows? I don't. I don't know yet. Maybe there's too much pressure, and and uh, you know, and just deliver the ball kind of off balance. So there's a lot of things that go into uh, you know an interception. Um, but to answer your question, nervousness. No, you know, it's just one of those things. Again, the luxury of having a great defense, you don't have to push it sometimes. And this was one of those times. Too much for coach. How much do you spend during this bye week just trying to figure out how you can overcome the inconsistencies that the offense has at times? Good one. You know, that's that's probably it. You know, we've talked a lot about it. You know, there are some things too. We had the we had the uh, you know pitch back and big play there and a penalty. You know, so we've had that last week. We had a bunch of penalties too in the second half that killed drives and left us with third and forever several times. Um, those those are hard to come back from. Um, so that we we tried to address, but obviously at this again today, you know, on another huge play that we're 
put us inside, I think, the 10 yard line, something like that, at a critical time. Um, so those are those are the things that I'm most concerned with. You know, we're going to miss some throws here and there. We're going to miss some catches here and there. Um, protections, you know, I, I think we're pretty sound for the most part. You know, there are some protection issues here and there for sure, but um, for the most part, I thought it was pretty good. So to go back, I would, for me, the biggest thing right now is just looking at the penalties because that's, that's bit us too many times. When, when it comes to the penalties, like last week and that one you talked about, how much of it is discipline or how much of it is just making sure that they're in the right position to where they don't find themselves having to create those penalties? Um, I think a lot of it is just it's focus. I think a lot of it um, is also just, I hate to say it, but just coincidence. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you just, you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time and the guy sees it and, and you know, um, the one today was just, was I think it was a lack of focus. You know, we just got an offensive lineman downfield on a throw. You know, I mean, you just can't do that, you know. So, um, but, I mean, he's going to learn from that young guy again and, and uh, we'll get better. Hey, what did it seem, mean to see Justin Blackman back? Oh, it was great. I love seeing Justin. He came in today and just said hi to the receivers for a minute. And, and uh, you know, Tay was fired up. So I'm in the locker room. And by the way, the locker room didn't look like an even riot in there. It was, it was awesome. It was pretty exciting. But Tay comes up back and he's like, man, I shook Justin Blackman's hand, you know. And, and uh, that's great for him because he sees a guy that is iconic around here come back and, and spend time. And, and Justin sat in there with the White House and talked to him for a while. And he was, he was fabulous, you know. It was good to have him back in town. Is it good for him too? It's good for him too, I'm sure. You know, he loved being around here and he told the guys, you know, those guys I haven't been back here a whole lot. I'm excited to be back here and go out there and get after him and you know, a couple of words that I probably shouldn't use again. But, uh, but it was good. It was Thanks, great to see him. Thanks. All right.